up everybody, it's Coach Kev, aka Purpose Driven, coming back to you guys today with another video. So, this is going to be just top of the head, so I apologize beforehand if I stutter, if um, I don't articulate my words perfectly, but I definitely just wanted to say rest in peace to Kobe and his daughter. This, in my lifetime, this might be one of the most tragic events that I've ever been a part of or even heard of and seen. This is this is gonna go down as one of the you know, Sunday's gonna go down as one of the worst days ever in history. Like this is just like many others, when when I heard the news first it was shocking, I didn't believe it. And when it was confirmed, like all day Sunday, just holding back tears, holding that, holding back tears until I finally was just like, just let it out, just let it out. Like I, I never thought because celebrities have died in my time, like Michael Jackson, Nipsey Hussle, stuff like that, people like that. But I never thought in my life that I would react towards somebody that I don't even know. The way that I reacted towards when I heard that him and his daughter died. It, this is. Like, I believe in God 100% and I believe everything happens for a reason. There's no random occurrences. Everything is a part of his plan. But just coming from a human perspective, like, this is this one is hard to grasp. I don't, I don't understand. You, uh, this one really, really hit home. And like out of every tragedy, out of every defeat, everything, every bad situation like to find a silver lining it's easy to say but like this just happened on sunday and it's so like tough to deal with like the biggest thing i heard from people speaking to take out of the situation was just live every the carpe diem just live every day to the fullest and just do your best to live in the moment, just in the moment, because you just never know when you'll get that moment again. If you'll ever get that moment again, like you just don't, you just can't take those things for granted, which a lot of us do. The simple, the little things in life we take for granted. And like yesterday, I apologized to somebody that I knew that I used to be friends with and just squash whatever we had between us because, and that was honestly one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but it was just time. It just this, and it sucks that situations like this make us open our eyes to reality and what we should have been doing in the first place, but it sucks, man. This really, 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 really sucks. Like, I, I still, I'm still like hoping to wake up and just like, this is all a dream, like, he's inspired. I, like, I knew how big Kobe was, but not, I, people that don't even know basketball, never, might never even watch the day, know Kobe. Like, this is, this is tragic, man. Tragedy, straight tragedy. So, like I said, I'm just gonna do my best, which I hope everybody else does their best to just live in the moment and appreciate anything big or small well I know we have to we worry about our past I know we're as human beings we think about our future but you just never tomorrow is not promised like literally tomorrow is not promised so whatever moment you're in situation you're in just do your best best to understand that grasp it and do everything that you can to be the best version of yourself in that moment. Um, to, I, I honestly, I, I don't know what else to say. This is this is heartbreaking. Like this is gonna be something that lasts forever. This is this is a tough one. This is literally a tough one. So at the end of the day, love those that love you. Be your be the try the best to be the best version of yourself each and every day and just try to live your purpose. Until the day you die, just try your best
to live your purpose every single day. Peace.